Support for Radio Friends comes from Rose Heart Hypnotherapy, serving Central Missouri since 2007. They specialize in pain management, pre- and post-medical procedures, fears, phobias, and increasing performance and success in every area of life. Athletes needing sports hypnosis to improve their ability will be pleased to know that Rose Heart Hypnotherapy specializes in neurofeedback and is the only certified OptiBrain train and golf partitioner in Missouri. Call Rose Heart Hypnotherapy at 888-604-9997 or visit mohyp.com and experience true success. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, October the uh, 5th. We're going to talk about uh, a fall lecture series. I want to introduce you to Mary Ellen Lohman. Welcome back to Radio Friend, Mary Thanks Ellen. Thanks for having us. And uh, we have Sean Roast. Nice to be here, Paul. And you're both here for the uh, Center for Missouri Studies of Fall Lecture. Tell us about that. Yes, we um, at the State Historical Society of Missouri would like to invite you all out to join us at 1 p.m. to learn a little bit more about uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder. 1 p.m. at what time? Oh, what um, day? Sure. Uh, Next Saturday, so October the 13th, Mm -hmm. Courtyard Marriott, um, and we're going to have a program by Caroline Frazier, Pulitzer Prize winner, and we're going to learn more about Laura Ingalls Wilder. Okay. Laura Ingalls Wilder, if you you were watching Little House on Uh the Prairie, Laura was a main character there. Uh Yeah. How accurate is the character that she played on that television show to the real Laura Ingalls? Mm. Well, I think in a lot of ways, as Caroline Frazier discussed, there's a bit of discrepancy between the books and the later on TV show. But especially what comes through a lot within her writing is how the events of Laura Ingalls' life laid earlier on really inspired the later books. She wrote them much later on as she moved to Missouri. So the experiences of staying on the frontier and homesteading and certainly going through the trials and tribulations of the frontier really inspired the kind of narrative that she later wrote yeah. about. Now, they, they lived all over the, the country there. Right? Mm-hmm. They were they were moving around, right, Charles and mm-hmm. was, was the father. Yes. Then Laura married Almanzo, yes. right? Yeah. But didn't Almanzo have a stroke at a very young age? So yeah, uh, what happened was was he actually saved the town they were living in during the midst of a pretty severe winter. Now that wasn't Walnut Grove. No, that would have been, I believe, when they were in uh, South Dakota okay. or main mm-hmm. part of Minnesota. Uh, and he essentially saved the town with one of his other friends. Uh, and what happened was that the damage from that uh, frostbite and, and, and being out in the cold for long periods of time later caused his uh, debil- uh, debilitation issues and issues involving kind of his health mm-hmm. and well-being. They moved to Missouri. Was that their last move? Yes. When they uh, when Laura uh, Wilder Ingalls moved to mm-hmm. Missouri, and this I'm holding up a a advertisement, and they saw this, mm-hmm. and this is what made them to decide to move to Missouri. For people listening on the radio, describe what I'm holding. Sure, it's a big, beautiful red apple on a tree, and it says the land of the big red apples. And apparently this ran in like a railroad advertisement. Uh Um, So people wanted to encourage people to travel out to the Show Me State um, to move here, and they'd gone through so many hardships that they were ready and just willing to try something. And they they saw this, and they decided to move to Missouri. Where did they move to Missouri? They came to Mansfield at that point, right? Yes. Then look. Uh, I'm also holding up her library card. This, now, <laughs> yes. this is real, right? Yes. yes. This so, is the real library card for Laura Ingalls. Yes, it says Mrs. Laura Ingalls Wilder, and she first vo- joined the State Historical Society, it looks like, in 1951. Uh-huh. Okay, um, and we were, so we're proud to have a lecture about somebody who's actually been a member of our society, uh-huh. a Missourian who's very uh-huh. well known uh, for her impact, and she helped what generations of people at this point learn about the pioneer experience yeah. and that kind of hard scrabble thing that you can oh, overcome yes. uh-huh. in this country. Okay, then the book author will be uh, yes. discussing that. When again? Yes, Caroline Frazier is our um, Pulitzer Prize winning author who's speaking on October the 13th at 1 p.m. And the location is? Um, the Columbia Courtyard Marriott. And everybody is invited to attend. Hopefully you'll have a big turnaway crowd. Yes, we would love to see all of you there. <laughs> okay. I want to thank you both so much for coming by. It's a pleasure having you here. Sure. 
and Thanks. sharing some of our Missouri history. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Now, I want to introduce you to Jan Martin and Laura Devaney. Good to have both of you here. Thank you. To talk about the Mid-Missouri Quilts of Valor. Tell me about that. Um, Quilts of Valor was originated back in 2003 nationally, and we started our group, Mid-Missouri Quilts of Valor, here in Columbia in September of 2009. Mm -hmm. It's an organization that honors veterans by awarding quilts of comfort. Yeah. How many quilts have you awarded? We have, we don't keep a real tight number. We report every quilt we award to the national group, but part of their theory is that it's all about the veterans and not about us. Right. But we have done uh, hundreds. Hundreds of Hundreds. Them. The national and group has done almost 200,000. No. Yes. 200,000 yes. quilts 200, and you've done hundreds. We've so, done hundreds. So do a group of ladies get together and do the quilts? Yes. yes. Both of you are part of it, right? Yes. yes. Now, you brought in a quilt of valor today. Now, for the people watching on, on television, you can see it. And Uncle James is going to bring it in here, and I'm going to hold it up. For the ones listening on the radio, uh, I want you to describe it. This is beautiful. Do they all look? The same? Are they all pretty much the same or different? No, all different. All yeah. different. Now look at that. That is beautiful. You've got Thank the, you. it looks like the stars and stripes are incorporated into it. Yes. This is a quilt called Three Tours. Uh-huh. And Laura is very uh, prolific quilter. And this is one of her specialties that she does. But oh, that's each quilt is different and unique. And yeah. we try to honor each veteran by making it personal. You know. That is beautiful. Yes. So uh, how long does it take to do a quilt like this? Uh, that one, probably a week. That's Off all? Oh, Just a week? To piece <laughs> it. Now it has to go to a quilter after it's pieced, but about a, about a week. Oh, those are beautiful. That, and, they're, and they're awarded for comfort to veterans. Right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Uncle James. Yes, thank you. <laughs> but, and you've done several hundred? We do at least a hundred a year, try to. And How many ladies have you got? All we have 35 on our email list, and we meet once a month at Satin Stitches Sewing and Embroidery here in town. Mm -hmm. um, they're very supportive of our efforts and give us a place to meet and a place to have our uh, awards and um, probably 15, 20 to 30 at a time show up to do. So if people want to uh, volunteer to do this, they right. can? That's right. And How do they volunteer? They can contact us. We have a website and we have a uh, Facebook page. What's your website? And our website is midmissouri midmoquiltsofvalor.org midmoquiltsofvalor.org mm -hmm. and uh, that or, would be the best way or, or, yeah, or to that's... contact or to come by Satin Stitches and okay. pick yep. up a card there okay just yeah. go by there thank you so much I appreciate it ladies you're welcome thank All right. you and we'll say hi to okay. Russ Devaney also who's listening alright <laughs> bye bye